Now look at uh, an example of wave interference from two point sources. We're going to start with two point sources, and they're going to go out. And we'll see that the dark lines are crests of the wave, the not so bolded lines are troughs of the wave. So we can start coming up with different number of points, and this animation is going through a lot of these different scenarios. But what we want to do is look at when do we have a crest showing up with another crest. And if a crest shows up with a crest, or similar, if a trough shows up with a trough, we're going to get the point of constructive interference. And these are these red dots along here. So we have all these dots represent a crest showing up with a crest, a dot or a trough representing with, or lining up with a trough. The blue points, however, these occur when a crest shows up with a trough. So this point right here, we have a crest, we had a trough there. The animation's getting a little bit away from me, but let's look at this again. So we can see right here, there's a crest from this guy, from the, uh, the right wave, and a trough from the left wave. So in that point, we're going to get destructive interference. That's what we call the blue dots. We also call these nodes. Nodes are points of destructive interference. An anti-node, on the other hand, refers to a point of constructive interference. And this is exactly what we saw when we were doing physics uh, waves in the first physics class. So one thing we can notice is that these lines, if we were to line up all of the, the anti-nodes, or when the blue lines will show up, we'll line up all the blue lines and they all form kind of straight lines. So I want you guys to take a moment and let's say we have the two little bugs, Jiminy and Johnny, and they're gonna make little waves with their feet. Kind of a fun little example, but put them in a pond, we watch these two little water bugs make waves. And what's gonna happen is that these waves are gonna inter undergo interference. So Take a look at it. Again, the thick lines are going to be the crests of the waves, the thin lines are going to be the troughs of the waves, and they're going to interfere. So at the points A, B, C, D, and E and F, I want you to try to determine if it's constructive interference or destructive interference, and why. So take a moment now and try to come up with uh, one or which one each of these points are. And if you need some time, go ahead and pause the video and write down your answers. Okay, so now that you've got a guess on these, at least looked at it a little bit, let's go through the answers on these. So, A has a crest from one and a crest from the other, so a crest and a crest give us constructive interference. So A has a constructive interference. B is a crest and a crest, so again, it should have constructive interference. C, however, has a crest and a trough. So that should be destructive interference. And if we look at D, we have a crest from Jiminy and a trough from Johnny. E has a trough from Jiminy and a crest from Johnny. And F has a crest and a trough. So C, D, E, and F all should be destructive interference. So we're going to go and look at this just even a little bit further in the next uh, video, and we're going to just keep building on this concept, and we'll start to see some really clear patterns that happen.